We have talked about one saddle limit already, but this time we talk about this this one a little more uh, deeply here. So please check out what is one side limit on the textbook, and then we will review that concept when we meet next week again. Instead, we will talk about some example so that even though uh, you you don't know yet, but we can actually get some other idea. Okay, so find the limit of the following questions. So. Let's think about number uh, first one and second one, and then I'm gonna leave other three uh, as the maybe homework question. So after we returning next week, then we can talk about that. Okay, so the first one here. So limit x move to one positive side, two plus x over one minus x here, right? Okay. So as you know, if you plug 1 into this function, this will be undefined because the denominator becomes 0. Therefore, you may choose a very close value to the 1 but should be on positive side and analyze it. Especially, x equal 1 is the vertical asymptote and you know that the vertical, vertical asymptote has the infinite limit so from the last video right so let's choose maybe uh, 1.00001 I think that's kind of close enough so you plug this value into the function then what do you get so I'm going to calculate 2 plus 1.00001 divided by 1 minus 1.00001 then you will get around negative 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so we can presume you plug even smaller value, then it's going to be even smaller and smaller because it's going to a negative side here. So therefore, this limit becomes negative infinity here. But now, Let's think about the second one here. Second one. So I'm going to copy down the limit x move to 4, x square over x square plus 16. So like last time, um, in this rational function case, denominator is not factorable. So it is continuous function, which means uh, you will have maybe limit from the left and right side, the same limit. Okay, so analyze one side limit and then find out uh, what the actual limit is. So I'm going to find out, first of all, limit x move to 4 from the positive fx. And then limit x move to 4 from negative side fx here. So you may choose maybe uh, very small, small very, I mean the close value uh, from the four positive side and then or the negative side here. So I will choose maybe 4.00001 and then 3.99999, right? So 4.00001 will be uh, the, from the right side limit, uh, right side cho uh, chosen value. And 3.99999 will be left side chosen value here. So let's plug those values. So 4.00001 square over 4.00001 square minus uh, plus 16. Then you will get point five zero 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 one two five like this now let's plug three point nine 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 so three point nine 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 square divide by three point nine 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 square plus sixteen then you will get point four nine 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 
9A7 something. Okay, so based on this, we confirm that those two values are approached to 0.5. So on the positive side, we checked it, this is 1 over 2. Also negative side, also 1 over 2. Therefore, this limit becomes 1 over 